My name is Jay Doherty with Quantum Rehab. I'm going to review the steps on how to link your QLogic 2 hand control with Bluetooth, which is a standard feature in the QLogic 2 hand control, with a Windows tablet. The first step to setting up your QLogic 2 hand control Bluetooth is to utilize your handheld programmer, plug it into the system, and pro take one of your five drive profiles and make it an auxiliary profile. In order to plug the barrel to the programmer into the charger port of the QLogic 2 hand control, take the thumb notch on the barrel, make sure it's facing up, and slide the barrel into the receiver. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that program adjustments is highlighted and hit your soft key that says select above it. We're going to be programming the hand control, so we want to go give a right command to go into the hand control settings. We want to change a profile, so we're going to utilize profile setup, so give a right command to enter profile setup. Now for our purposes, profile 1, 2, 3, and 4 are drive profiles, and profile 5 is a power seat profile. That's typically how this comes off the production line. We're going to go over to Profile 4, and we're going to hit the plus key. It's going to ask me, do you want to continue to go into idle mode? The answer is OK. Anytime you're making a major change to the system, you need to go into idle mode so that the person cannot be driving while the change is being made. So we're going to go to we're going to hit the plus key until we see profile 4 change to aux profile, that's auxiliary profile, and the steps are completed. We now need to cycle the power to the power chair off and then back on in order to resume use of the chair. So you'll notice if I go, we changed profile 4 to an auxiliary profile. So there's P P3. It goes right to our seat profile because we haven't turned on the Bluetooth feature yet. So the first thing we have to do is click the green menu button. We're going to go to hand control settings and give a right joystick command. We're going to go down to Bluetooth, give a right joystick command, and we're going to turn on the mouse function because we're going to link this up to a Windows-based tablet. You'll see that <clears throat> there's a plus and a minus. Right now it says mouse no. We have to push the joystick forward to turn the mouse on. And you'll see that power cycle is needed. So we're going to shut the chair off and turn it back on. We need to push the mode toggle forward until we get to profile 4 you now see that we have an auxiliary menu available and remote control. We're going to give a right command on right remote control, a right command of the joystick on Bluetooth, and we have to make the Bluetooth visible. So we want to give a reverse command on the joystick, then a right command, and again, the plus is forward, so that's how we turn Bluetooth visibility on. We're then going to give a left command. This brings us back to this screen you see here. We're going to give a forward command to highlight mouse, and we're going to give a right joystick command to enter it. This screen here is telling me that the Bluetooth unit in the hand control is looking for the device that it's going to sync up to. So what I'm going to do, this is a Windows-based tablet and I'm going to plug in to search Bluetooth. Oh, there we go. Bluetooth settings. I want to go in. And you can see here that mouse 6124 and mouse 6124 are on both. I want to pair that, so I'm going to click on that on my device and click pair. As you can see, we're connected on here. That's our mouse that was on the screen of the hand control. 
And we're connected on here that you can see because the mouse is showing up on the hand control screen. So now in order to control the mouse, all we have to do is move the joystick and you can see the mouse arrow on the screen is moving. However, now we need the ability to provide mouse clicks. There's a variety of ways to do so. The next step is going to show you how to use the two buttons on the hand control or there is an ability to use an external switch in order to do your mouse clicks. So again, we need to plug in our handheld programmer, which I've done so already. And we need to go to Program Adjustments, hit Select, give a right command on hand control settings because we're dealing with a hand control. This time we want to give a down command on the touchpad until we see Bluetooth. Once Bluetooth is highlighted, give a right directional command with the handheld programmer and go down to clicks. This allows us to decide how the person is going to do the mouse clicks on the device that they're using. So the first one in the choices is switches. This requires that a, that a mouse click PTO harness be purchased from Quantum Rehab and plugged into the power module. This device allows us to plug external 1 8 inch jack switches into the harness and these switches can be utilized for mouse clicks. So the next choice is we hit the plus key on the programmer and it says base toggle. This uses an external left mouse switch from the power base again using the mouse click PTO harness to toggle between mouse movements and mouse clicks. So the person would hit, this, hit the external switch in order for mouse clicks to show up on the hand control screen. Going to hit the plus key again. Base auto is the next choice. This works very similar to the base toggle except for when the switch is hit and a mouse click command is provided, the screen turns right back to the mouse directional control screen on the hand control so that the person can use the joystick to move the mouse again. Base hold is the next choice. Again, this requires the mouse click PTO harness and the mouse clicks are only active as long as the switch that's plugged into the harness is held down. So the person holds down the switch, moves the joystick in the direction of the mouse click they want to provide, and then releases the switch and the hand control will go back to mouse movement. Our next choice is mode toggle. This uses a switch plugged into the mode jack and this switch toggles between mouse movement and mouse clicks. That will be seen on the hand control screen if you're in mouse movement or mouse clicks. Mode auto. This is the same as mode toggle but again automatically returns back to mouse movement after a mouse click is achieved. So the person would hit the switch, go to mouse clicks, make the mouse click choice, the screen would automatically change back to mouse movements. Mode hold, again the same as mode toggle, but mouse clicks are only active as long as the mode switch is held down. Key toggle, this allows the one and two buttons on the hand control to toggle between mouse movement on the screen or mouse clicks on the screen. Key auto. This is the same as key toggle but automatically returns to mouse movement after a mouse click is achieved. Key hold. Again, this is similar to key toggle but mouse clicks are only active as long as the one or two key are held down. 
key one and two. This turns the one and two button on the hand control into your mouse clicks. This is the most often used by most folks. This is an example of the mouse movement screen. This is an example of a mouse click screen. So now I'm going to show you that you can use your hand control with the Bluetooth hooked up to a Windows-based tablet controlling the mouse. So as you can see, I'm controlling the directional arrow. Now I'm going to slide this bar so we can see what's over to the right of the screen. I'm going to click my button. I'm going to pull back to give a left and drag command for mouse clicks. Go back to mouse movement and now I can slide over and then I go again hit my button to release that command and I can go back click my button and now go back to mouse movements again. What I just showed you an example of is the key toggle programmed for Bluetooth mouse clicks. So those are the steps in order to program your QLogic 2 hand control Bluetooth capabilities with a Windows tablet. If you have further questions, please reach out to your local quantum rep.